Hello, this is H.E. Baby, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Grip City, a musical adventure. Since last time, I've rearranged my parties I have listed in the video description there. Most notably, I've got either the Hero's Charm or Defense Robes equipped on everyone to help out in case all the enemies decide to gang up on one character. I've also got the Magic Robes and Sonic Shoes equipped on Shart because she's mostly going to be healing, while Night Spawn and Caroline are going to be dealing the bulk of our damage. So, let's head on up for the final battle against Marjorie herself. Well, it wasn't a very long dungeon you gave us. Not too many dead ends. Why does everyone keep on calling her that? I'm... Or she's her... His boyfriend now. But alright. Ha ha ha. jokester to the last. For final boss time! Oh, we gotta fight them all at once. Holy cow! Okay, so you definitely want to have Happy Horn to protect against their mass damage, and then use your most powerful spells against all of them. I don't know why Meteor isn't called Omega Meteor instead of Giga Meteor, but okay. But yeah, anything that costs like 50 MP or more, that's pretty much the ultimate tier of your spells there. Usually I don't like to use them because they're not that cost efficient. But in this case, I want to take them out as quickly as possible. So now I want to use Mega Heal All to, well, heal everyone. And Chart is a bit slower than the others. So, she'll probably get in her healing spell after we take even more damage. So that's one reason why I'm using Mega Heal All instead of just, the, well, the original Heal All there. Even though I didn't really need more of it yet at the time. And then, let's see, Crodia is pretty fast there. I could make my party members faster than her, but I don't think it's really worthwhile. So now, I'm going to have Cornette use Heart to restore everyone's SP there. And heal up a little bit, so that way I don't have to have Shart heal for the round. So, you can use whatever elemental damage you want against them. It doesn't matter in this case, at least. And then, let's see. I'm not going to reset the duration of Happy Horn here. I think we'll be fine if we just keep going all out at this point. A good Mega Heal Law, just in case. And, whoa! Maybe I should have uh, recast Happy Horn there. Oh, or we could just start killing them. Let's see. Also, with uh, Meow there, she's pretty threatening because she has Mega Charm that she can use on your entire party. Fortunately, as you can see, she does not have that much HP. So, we're fine with that. Also, let's see, yeah. All of them are, I would believe they're immune to all status ailments. At least I've never been able to get anything to go through on them, but... Alright, so, yeah, once you've gotten rid of the three... Others than Marjorie, it's pretty much over by that point. Hooray! Haha. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, didn't you just say that? Oh, okay. Never mind then. What the? Well, what do you want? That, that would be a bummer. What, another one of those things? It's a little rusty there, pal. Don't you have, like, a supply closet with a whole bunch of these guys in there? I would think you would know. 
Well, I didn't think uh, Colanzo was a mechanic, but okay. The future is now, old maid. So yeah, this battle just proceeds automatically here, and for some reason Marjorie doesn't have as much HP as when we were fighting her. Oh, she actually won. Oh, well, I wasn't quite expecting it to be that easy. Well then. Well, that's jiggling physics there for you. What spell? Toasty! That's... Ha ha! <laughs> Neither can I, judging by the hair colors of your family members. Didn't you basically already run the whole show anyway? I'm getting out of here. Yeah, you could actually leave in the middle of all this if you wanted to. But, uh, no, nah, no, nah, we don't really need to. We're fine. I didn't think she got beaten. She beat herself. Well, yeah, I could tell. Ha uh ha. -huh. Maybe you should look into that a bit more. Well, that's just your hormones there, Cornette, but for talking to the statue, we... Yeah, you can get your HP and SP refilled there. Okay, I can't interact with the new weapon, but, uh... Because I want to kill you? Sure, why not? I could just throw some dessert in your face. Well, actually, I just used all my uh, appreciation gauge, didn't I? Yeah. Well, I think that's going to be pretty difficult, but you're welcome to give it a try. Okay, for more final boss time. Okay, so of the new enemies down there, or, well, the new Funkies there. Yeah, Shogun has the most HP, so I want to use Flames of Hell with Cornette, and then everyone else just use their either Mega or Giga tier spells. Anything that's under 50 SP there. So I don't want to blow my load right at the beginning here, because especially since the three guys there, not very strong. Yeah, so, easy enough there. You could use, I don't know, like, make a sleep on them, I would imagine. But, yeah, we really don't need to. Just have everyone use their mid-tier multi-targeting damage, and we'll be good. So now, yes, since there's only one left, go with your Thunder Punch there. And, yeah, I'm not going to use a spell with Shard there, since we only really need the single targeted heal going there and I don't care whether she acts you know later than everyone else this is gonna take us a couple rounds to take down at least so don't be afraid to use your elixirs now this is the act I mean we don't we don't I, I, I we won't need them later but let's see I'm gonna have night spawn do some healing here now because, well, he's, well, usually faster than everyone else. And I want to make sure that I have everyone at full HP by the end of this fight. We're getting a little close. There we go. Well, that was easy. So, what are you going to do now? Like, Fuse with the machine or something? Ha ha. Whoa! That's... Well, we could just try fighting it again. What the? Hey, hey! I wonder what would have happened if Marjorie lost that fight. I would imagine the cutscene would still proceed as normal, but whatever you need to do. Yeah, exactly. 
Rest in pieces. For real final boss time. We got some epic battle music. Okay, so you definitely want to have a Happy Horn to help on everyone because, uh, what is it, the weapon has G Laser, which deals massive damage to your entire party. It can exceed 200 damage sometimes, and I can't guarantee that I will be faster than it with my healing, so that's why I want to have Happy Horn there. And with all the little funkies there, Mega Sleep can help crowd control them early on until we can whittle down their HP. Since now they're all Dark Elemental, so we can use Sister's Desire and Giga Holy to damage all of them. They, they aren't extraordinarily tough, though. So that's one of the reasons why I used Heart in the battle with Marjorie there because I think that one's a bit more threatening than this one. Not to mention you can crowd control the the, the funkies here. And then, let's see. Yeah, make a sleep. That'll crowd control them again. Ooh, wow. I'm getting pretty lucky there with uh, Mega Sleep hitting all of them like that. So, if there's two of them that are still awake at the beginning of a round, I would usually want to use Mega Sleep then. But if it was just the one, like before, then just, well, either heal with Night Spawn, or you could have him use Mega Meteor. Even though they're Dark Elemental, he'd still deal some decent damage against them. Or you could use Giga Meteorite against the weapon there. But, uh, well, so far the weapon seems to be focusing a lot on healing. So, yeah, I don't have to spend as much time healing myself. All right, got him. And, yeah, once you've gotten those three, the rest is relatively simple. But I still want to keep Happy Horn up there to protect against G-Laser. I wonder what the G stands for anyway. Maybe Giga Laser? Or, uh... A gigantic laser? I mean, it is a fairly giant robot. I mean, it's no Megazord, but still, it's pretty big there. And then, yeah, once you've gotten all the other guys out of the way, just use your most powerful mid-tier spells. And let's see, I think, uh, what was that? I think one of those guys uh, that we killed there could use like Mega Sleep or Mega Poison against you. So that's another reason you want to use Mega Sleep to crowd control them. Well, fortunately, I was able to keep that guy off of that. And then, yeah, Thunder Punch deals a little more damage than like Sword Oath or Koro Attack. But yeah, uh, magical damage in this version of the game is definitely the way to go. The final bosses just have way too much uh, physical defense, not to mention the multiple targets to deal with there. Flare might not be a bad party member also to use here because he's got pretty good speed and decent intelligence too. Uh, thanks, thanks Twal for chipping in there. That's great. But yeah, okay, so let's Oh, just keep on going with the single targets there. I don't know how close we are. But, uh, yeah, I want to play it safe with uh, another happy horn. Hey, hey, all right, got him. Woohoo! 